Hi everyone, you know, it's Saturday and I like to do some art projects on Saturday and I also like to do beauty treatments because, you know, we beat up our hair and our face all week. But anyway, I'm gonna do a little art project today. Um, I know I look horrible, but I thought I'd just be realistic with my Facebook friends. And um, I did do some some cleaning in my kitchen I'm very proud of. So I'm gonna be working in my kitchen today and we're gonna be working on this sculpture. I'm gonna make it into a vase to put flowers in. I started, um, I made this out of terracotta clay. I fired it. I thought it'd be cool as a vase to put flowers in. And I'm gonna decide what color to use. And um, I'm gonna show you how to patina a sculpture made of terracotta. And we'll do it together, if that sounds cool to you. All right, so I shall do my artwork. Okay, One bye. of the reasons I like to share, um, I don't even know how this is gonna come out. I mean, it may come out terrible, but what I'm gonna do, I've got three different colors. I'm gonna do some variations on my palette over here. And um, I'm like queen of the dry brush and the wispy brush. I love to use this. It gets into the little nooks and crannies and it could you could spread it out real nice and the paint and um, let the terracotta come through. So this is very viscous, these two here. But this one is more opaque, like it, you'll be able to mix it in with the other two pretty good. Anyway, so we'll see how this goes. I like to uh, do from start to finish and see how it comes out. I hope I hope it looks nice. I know the inside, like I, I like the shine that I was getting with the color. So I test it out inside first to see the color. So we'll try that too. Some people, uh, I just wanted to mention, like to gesso the sculpture first and then paint it. But I think I like the texture of the terracotta. It feels cool in your hands. And when the paint is just happens to, you know, be there, but it doesn't completely cover the whole sculpture in terms of losing that, that texture. I love the texture. That's part of the fun of sculpture to me. So I'm not going to use the gesso. One things I notice is there's some rough edges here once I put the sculpture up. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the sandpaper and I'm gonna sand down those rough edges along the bottom so that I don't have any rough edges. All right, so I'm gonna... Okay, so um, I'm looking at this and I think it's too, I don't know, a little too green for my taste. So I'm gonna try to get more gold in there and you know, um, kind of water it down a little bit and try to, uh, I kind of like the way the gold looks. And the green is supposed to be, it's supposed to give it, make it look a little old, but I don't want her to look like she's, you know, got a disease. So it's gonna be a fine line. You know, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So here we go so far. This is really nerve wracking because I'm just not a neat painter, you know? But what I thought maybe would be cool is if I added some darker browns in there because what's happening is it's getting too gold and green and I'm losing some of the flesh tone that I like. So in some of these shadows, I'm gonna add a little bit of the um, burnt sienna, actually. So into the shadow areas, just to accentuate the coives, the coives of this lady. And I think that's gonna help with the flesh tone a little bit. Kind of dull down the gold a little bit, you know, and bring back some of the terracotta look, you know. So, like in where the curves are, I'm going to add this to just accentuate that. And I love this brush because it's just so wispy. Instead of something smooth, you know, it's pretty cool. Hi. So um, I really like my results so far. Um, I did a mixture. I used burnt sienna, a little cadmium red, and 
the goldish viscous color um, and a little green to make it look like it's oxidized and really I work with my fingers a lot my hands a lot like I rub it in with my fingers okay so um, I have a really soft brush for buffing and this is Renaissance wax and I have another wispy brush so I can get into all the crevices um, I added a little more burnt sienna to just give it a more of a natural look with a touch of the gold so that it still has that terracotta feeling almost like the gold is being brushed you know um, it's actually wearing through I kind of like that idea with a little bit of the green to make it look oxidized but anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this I'm gonna I'm gonna take up a scoop of the Renaissance wax and I'm gonna apply it all around and then I'm gonna buff it like that okay so I'll show you how to so guys this is it. I put some wispy little cattails and feathers in this. Um, I buffed it. I, I um, applied the Renaissance wax to it. Ladies and gentlemen, I now give you The Butt Vase by Mary Taylor. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you feel inspired. Take a sculpture class for goodness sakes. There's a great school called the Art School at Old Church in Demarest, New Jersey. Why don't you stop by and check it out? See you soon.